position. And I want you to just bring your hands up to your knees. Imagine that you're drawing the knees towards one another, engaging your core. So we're firing up those legs straight away. Bring your hands onto your, onto your knees. And as you inhale, a little lean forward. Roll your shoulders back, puff your heart to the front of the room, squeeze your shoulder blades together and lift your heart. And then as you exhale, opposite direction. So it's like you're going to fall back, arch your spine and double towards your belly button. Inhale, draw everything forward, shoulder blades together, puff your heart nice and high. And then as you exhale, other direction, look towards your belly button. One more, inhale, look up. Draw everything forward, elbows back, heart forward. Exhale to curl in the opposite direction. Fall back, look towards your belly button. Inhale, come up. And make your way into your hands and knees. So with crow pose, we do a lot of stuff on our wrists. So we want to keep them nice and warm. Little rock forwards and backwards. And just moving into this as much as you need to. If you need to pause the video just to do a little bit more, then do. If you know that you're going to need a little bit more time, spend a little bit more time here. Take your fingertips to the facing towards you, and you can stay here. This can be quite intense, or if you know you have a little bit more space and you want to find a little rock forwards and backwards, then go down. Moving with your breath as you inhale, coming forward. Exhale to come back. And take your fingers forward and straight away we're going to get into our downward dog. So curl your toes under and lift your hips up high. Thinking about spreading your fingers really wide and lifting your tail into the sky, drawing your heart towards your fingers and your arms back into the sockets. A little tuck of those ribs into your tummy. Take a full breath in here and a full breath out. Maybe you want to pedal those legs out a little bit just to create a little bit more space. Then again, spend as much time here as you would like. If you want to pause the video and warm up a little bit, that's fine. This is quite a short flow we're doing today. Bring that gaze forward between your hands and as you inhale, soften your knees and walk your feet forward. Ground those feet down, bring your hands to your shins, halfway lift. Draw your heart to the front of the room, lift the tail up. Belly button pulls in. As you exhale, find a fold. Inhale, strong legs, one breath, arms straight to the sky, and then as you exhale, bend your knees with the tassana. Draw your heart towards your fingers and your hip bones towards your chest. One more breath in, come a little bit lower, and then exhale, dive down, forward fold. If you need to soften your knees, then do. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands come down, take your right foot back. Take your left foot to meet it. Heels back. Heart comes forward, draw your hands down towards your fingertips and wrap your biceps forward in your triceps up. Hollow that belly. Full breath in, exhale, knees down, chest down. Keep those elbows in line with your shoulders, super strong legs. Inhale, roll up, cobra. Puff your heart to the front of your mat. Exhale, press through the fingers, curl the toes under, downward facing dog. As you inhale, take your right leg to the sky and not so worried about how high this leg lifts. I want you to think about drawing the outside seam of your right leg down and kicking those toes back as much as you can so you're finding the length and strength in your arms. One breath in and then as you exhale, soften your left knee, bend your right knee, roll through heart center and plant that foot down between your hands. If you need a little bit of a shuffle together, it's fine. Bend your front knee. Inhale, arms to the sky. High lunge. Draw your right hip back and your left hip forward. Tuck the tail and lift your heart a little bit higher. Melt the shoulder blades down the spine. Find one more breath in. And then as you exhale, dive down. Frame your front foot. Take your right foot back to meet your left plank. Heels back, heart forward. Exhale, knees down. Chest down. Strong arms and legs here. Inhale, roll up. Widen your collarbone. Exhale, press through the fingers, curl the toes under, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Draw the outside seam of that left leg down, reach 
So crown of the head towards your fingers and find one more inhale to find more length. Exhale, soften both knees and roll through every vertebra of that spine to plant that foot down between your hands. Inhale, draw everything up towards the sky. Get magnetized. Left hip back, right hip forward. Shoulder blades down the spine, lift your chest a little bit higher, but really ground your feet down. One more breath in. Exhale, dive down and frame your first foot. Left foot back to meet your right. Flat, heel back, heart forward, exhale, knees down, chest down. Inhale to roll up, cobra. Exhale, press through your fingers, cobra toes under, downward facing dog. Just take a moment here to breathe. Feel the mat beneath your hands and your feet and take one more breath in. And one more breath out. Knees between those hands. Walk, step, or hop the feet to meet you at the top of your mat. Inhale, find your halfway lift. Long legs, either hands can come to the floor, or they can come to the shins. Wherever you can find straight legs, and you're sending your heart to the front of the room. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, one breath, arms straight to the sky. Exhale, one breath, we're going to dive straight down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, take your right foot back. Come high on your back tiptoes and bend into your front knee. Magnetizing left hip back, right hip forward. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, bend both knees a little bit more. So we're going to hover. Tuck that tailbone with your heart and then bring your hands together. As you exhale, using your core strength, we're going to curl under. So we're going to begin to send lower set of ribs towards your hip bones as you dive down. Pull everything to the back of your mat. Pull under. One more breath in. Good. One more breath out. Inhale, come all the way back up and on your shoulder blades down your spine. Exhale, hands come down, frame your front foot. Inhale, begin to draw your left heel towards your right toes as you straighten that front leg. It doesn't matter if that front leg doesn't go completely straight, as long as you're finding this action of pulling up and in as you arch your spine to the sky and look to your back tiptoes. Exhale, bend back into that front knee, send your right heel back and your heart forward. Inhale, draw everything up to center, hollow that belly, ground your fingers down. Exhale, bend back into that front knee, heart forward, last one as you inhale, draw everything up to center. Exhale, bend back into that front knee and plant your hands down. Take your left foot back to move your right and find a plank. Heels back, heart forward. Exhale, knees down, chest down. Inhale to roll up to cobra. Exhale, press through your fingers. Curl your toes under, downward facing dog. Inhale, take your right leg to the sky, just as we did, and square your hips. Draw through your little toe, draw that down to the ground, and reach the crown of the head towards your fingers. Full breath in, and come higher on your left tiptoe. Even higher, yes, even higher, and bend your right knee and roll forward, holding that knee by your chest. Ground your hands down and even higher on your left hip to make that right knee even higher. Don't forget to breathe for three, two, one. Place your right foot down behind your right wrist on your tiptoes. So heel comes down and then inhale. Shift your weight forward, come onto your tiptoe like you're trying to squeeze your right knee into your armpit. Magnetize the bones towards one another. Spin your biceps forward and you can stay here. Alternatively, we're going to begin to shift that weight forward, find a lean, raise your back leg off the floor. Keep that strength in your arms and hold it for three, two, one. Take your left foot forward. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale, find a fold. Inhale, halfway lift again, left foot back. Bend into your front knee, magnetize the feet towards one another, inhale, arms to the sky. Good. Palms together. Cross your thumbs over in a way that feels kind of unnatural. As you exhale, bend that back leg and dive down. Use your core. Think about this. Mind-body connection. Lower set of ribs towards your hip bones. Send the back of your heart to the back of the room for one breath in, one breath out. Inhale, lift everything back up, lengthen that left leg back. Exhale, hands come down, tented fingers. As you inhale, magnetize everything 
into center. Draw right hip back, left hip forward, arch the spine to the sky, tuck your tailbone. As you exhale, then back into that front knee, send your heel back on your heart forward. Inhale, draw everything to center, arch the spine to the sky. Exhale, come back down, half forward. Last one, inhale, draw everything up. Hollow that belly, push your shoulders to the sky. Exhale, come back down and ground your hands down. Right foot back to meet your left plank. Exhale, knees down, chest down, strong through those arms, strong legs, inhale, roll up. Exhale, press through your fingers, curl your toes under, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Square your hips, draw the outside seam of your left leg down, holding your belly as you inhale, high on your right hip toes. Exhale, bend your left knee and send that knee towards your heart. Ground your hands down, take that knee even higher. Yes, even higher, breathe for three. Two, one, shift your gaze to your left hand and take that leg down behind it. Inhale. Weight's going to come onto the left hip toes as you draw your knee into your armpit and you can stay here. Or begin to shift that weight forward, strong arms, really ground your fingertips down. Back leg lifts. Engage your core and send your heart forward for three. Two. One, take your right foot down beside your left as you inhale, half lift. As you exhale, find a fold. Inhale, half lift again, and then toe heel your feet wide. Toes off the mat, heels on the mat, bend your knees, and bring your hands to Malasana. If this feels really impossible for you, even with your feet a little bit wider, bring your feet close so you're coming more into bead pose, and just drop your hands down and drop your head. If you're in your Malasana, we're going to send the elbows out to the knees, and your heart up towards your thumbs. And just take a breath, maybe close the eyes. Full breath in, full breath out. Good, puff your heart a little bit higher, one more breath in. One more breath out. Drop your hands down and gently rock yourself back. Feet down in front, hands on those knees, inhale. Just like we did at the start, drop everything forward to the front of the room, lift your gaze, lift your heart. And then as you exhale, release those hands and roll all the way back, hollow your belly. Feel every single muscle working as you roll down. We don't want to just flop. Good. Bring your knees into your chest. And then I want you to bring your knees in so much that your lower part of the spine lifts off the floor. So you see how we now have this gap. I can come down and I can come up. And I want to be up really. And then keeping my knees where they are on my spine exactly as it is, I'm going to lift my arms towards the sky. Flexing the parts of it. It's like I'm in crow pose, but I'm upside down. So my knees are going to be reaching towards my armpits, and this is engaging my core. And I'm breathing. Pull your navel into your spine. As you exhale, drop the tailbone back down. Inhale, squeeze those knees back into the triceps. Good. Inhale, drop. Exhale, sharp move. Come up. Good. Inhale, drop. Move nice and slow. Exhale, sharp. We're going to do five more. So through five. Bending my knees, coming high on my tiptoe, almost like I'm trying to 
knees into my armpits. That's the pull up that I'm trying to get. So I'm pulling everything up, knees up. And then I'm just going to begin to rock forward. So this isn't about placing all my weight on my hands. This is more about weight distribution. So gazing forward, shoulders melting down the spine, hands pressing down, maybe lifting one foot off the floor. And if this feels okay, you can then play around with lifting another foot off the floor. If all of that feels impossible, that is okay. You can begin to take the preliminary stages where you're literally just hands and knees, knees on armpits. And we're just rocking down, maybe coming back, and then maybe rocking a little bit further forward until you feel safe in that position. If you would like to kind of find another stage in between the rock and propose, but you're not quite ready to lift off yet, you can bring your feet onto a block or a book or a little box and you're just going to bring your feet a little bit higher and then bring your hands onto the floor and find your rock. What that means is that the hips are already lifted, so it doesn't quite feel as scary. And you can pause the video and have as many plays and goes as you would like. And then when you're ready, make your way onto your back. So in order to undo all that curving that we've been doing in the spine, we're just going to do a couple of rounds of bridge. Really gentle, nothing too intense or crazy. Feet are hip distance apart, hands are tipping those heels, and as you inhale, rock all the way up. Think about an even bend from the lower part of your spine all the way to the top, full breath in. Exhale slowly, one vertebra at a time. Tuck that tailbone roll down. Good, one more inhale. Roll all the way up. Keep the chin away from the chest. And exhale to roll all the way down. Keeping the feet wide, drop both knees over to the right hand side. You can stay here or a little add on. Right foot is going to come on top of the left knee, and then this is just going to be an added twist and stretch into that left hip. Look over to the left hand side and let your whole body drop. Take a full inhale through your nose and a full exhale through your nose. And release your right foot and come back to center. And then drop both knees to the left. And same thing, left leg on top of the right if you would like. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, release, and come back to center. And then just giving yourself a few minutes to take a shavasana, to let your body find stillness again, to connect to your breath. 